30 Norwegian students from Jøvik High School Media and Communication have gotten the opportunity to exchange with German students from the coastal city Kiel in Germany. Earlier this year, in May, the German students came up to Norway and now it's the Norwegian students' turn. Okay, what's going on? We're in the beginning of a visit to a school in Kiel som vi utväxlar med om där vi lager film gruppvis med norska grupper som då är er samma med grupper av kinelever. Eh skolan de tyska eleverna har varit här i juni och lagt film här i Norge och nu är er då vi tillbaka och lager film i Tyskland. Det är er det vi är er på byinstall då. Manus, pitch och allt som ska till förproduktion, preproduktion. Together they are making short films. During this process, they won't just learn about making movies. They will also learn about their culture, politeness, tasting new food, and experiencing a coastal city with a population of 250,000 citizens. In contrast, Jövik has only 400 students, and Wischoft has 4,000. De som skal være med denne bussen her, de må ha kofferta deres inni her. De som skal sitte på med meg der sånn, de må ha kofferten bak i der. Nå er vi klar for å reise. Nå har vi pakket i bil, og jeg krysset opp på lista. Alle er på plass. Da reiser vi for å kjøre. Filmingen den har varit meget lärorik och intressant och nå åt tider varit utfordrande. Den har varit uh, lärorik och intressant för vi hade utfordringer med manus helt på starten. Gjorde att vi måtte ändra det egentlig helt. Det satt oss tillbaka ganska mycket. Uh, så då fick vi ikke lika mycket tid til filming som vi hade tänkt och då måste vi ändra filmplan nå. Den har varit väldigt lärorik för vi har fått möjligheten att jobba med en helt ny grupp av ungdom och en helt ny kultur. Det er, veldig, det er veldig unikt, jeg hadde gjort det før, så det var også en utfordring å kommunisere med de menneskene her. Ja, yeah, well, we have to rewrite a few scenes. Um, it's kind of hard. They doesn't work out the way um, they wrote it down. So it's kind of hard because um, we don't have much time because we have to start shooting tomorrow, but we will try to and give our best. Det har varit uh, utfordrande med att vi har haft lite tid och att värre inte har varit så gott som vi hade hoppat på. Det är er ju inte man kan uh, det är er ju man kan gamble man kan inte gamble på att man ska få fint vär så da, vi må bara filma och improvisert, selv i regnvär och kallt vär. Och uh, men jag syns vi löste gruppen löste på en väldigt god måte uh, genom hela uka egentlig. så vi har varit väldigt flexibla när det kom till både sted och tid och i det hela tatt. Okay, so we changed the location for the third time. We did it in a bus stop uh, because uh, it has the roof over it. Uh, I think it went out great. Everybody's a bit annoyed now, but uh, we're finished. I think it worked out great. We had some little problems. Our biggest problem was a weather problem. We because we had a scene that was had to be shot in a parking lot at night. But because we weren't in school for like that long, so it can go dark, we uh, got to a point where we said, okay, good, let's just shoot in a garage. Yeah. It's, it's kind of dark, but it's yeah, still daytime. But there was one problem and that was rain. And that ruined our audio for a scene and we had to reshoot it. So we have like a small problem, as we can see. 
It's raining again. So now we kind of have to figure it out because the rain yesterday was much harder and much louder. So today it maybe could work. So now we're driving to our location, which is a parking lot where it's safe of rain. We found a place to shoot. It's like a kind of a personal space, really, because there's no car here. And we got allowed to film here. And action. So now we just finished shooting here in the parking lot and now the only thing that's left is like shooting at some guy's house, which is my house. Camera's rolling, sound. Fuck off. <laughs> jo, also we had a little problem there with the sound. Also there was a lot of... Det er en, Kiel er en stor by, og vi fikk, eh, det var mye lyd overalt, egentlig. Så det var veldig vanskelig å ta opp lyd akkurat der vi var. Det var mye vind, og det var løvblåser i hytt og pine overalt. Jeg kan jo drøve blåser og løv og greier. Det er greit å jobbe, men han ville ikke snakke med oss når vi ba han om å være stille. Men eh, ja, så vi må bare fikse det på oss med litt eh, miljølyder som vi tar opp etterpå når han er ferdig. Exciting. Good. Memorable. From my opinion, the most important thing is coming together. Coming together and get to know each other. Um, and to work uh, with each other and to recognize that Germans and Norwegians are similar in a lot of things. So you are young people and I think you are you, are the, you have the same tastes and the same thoughts, ideas, dreams and so on. On the one hand and on the other hand uh, there are differences. I hope uh, that most of you explore these differences. <laughs>